Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel where it's my opinion or no opinion at all. Scottalicious McFabulous here and I hope that you are feeling Percy. And today we are going to the Coach Retail Boutiques to check out the latest Coach X Mint Plus Surf Collection as well as those pesky bandit bags. Miss Laganja Estranja, next time you death drop, reverse that and drop dead. <laughs> but before we hop into today's shopping vlog slash shop with me trip to coach, if you guys love coach, luxury, bags, hauls, unboxings, the whole lot of those, please hit the subscribe button if you are new. And if you guys enjoyed today's content, make sure you hit that like button as it does help me know you enjoyed today's video. And it helps with that pesky <coughs> YouTube Al Go Rhythm. <laughs> Let's dive into the Coach Retail Boutique, starting with the Coach X Mint Surf Double Billfold Wallet. Comes in a really beautiful black pebbled leather, and the graffiti on it is very beautiful. Next up is the Coach X Mint Surf Card Case. Comes in two different colors. This one's more of like a beigey kind of color, and it comes with like a black spray paint effect over top. And the black spray paint has like certain parts have like a gloss. $210 Canadian. And then there is also a black one. I like the black a lot better. It has like a really sick acid green spray paint and like the red and the blue. I love it. And both card cases have their own coach badge on the inside. Really neat. Next up is the long accordion wallet in signature canvas i don't like this one i will say these are my least favorite ones out of the coach mint surf collection 340 dollars i just don't think the canvas and the spray paint look as nice as even this one the coach x mint surf accordion wallet that is just Look at the colors. It has all the colors. It looks sickening. I would actually really like this wallet, but it's expensive. <laughs> Next up is the Rogue Crossbody 12 for the Coach X Mint Surf Collection. Comes in the beautifully black pebbled leather with all of the crazy multicolored spray painting. Very beautiful. Also beautifully expensive. A whopping $610 for the crossbody. Quite expensive. Even if it is like a collection piece, this is expensive. But I will say the leather on these on this collection for the most part felt really nice. It did feel really nice. It felt really soft and the spray painting didn't feel cheap or anything. It looked like it was actual like genuine graffiti almost. It was really cool. And it totally looked so dope with my outfit. My outfit there just looks so good with it. It, Like I said, I might not like this collection to the fullest, though it does look a lot better in person, but it matches my style one million percent. Here we got the Coach X Mint Surf Rogue 39. This bad boy is huge, but we already knew that. Now, I will say I noticed right off the bat that the inside lining was not as nice as it usually is. But I only noticed it for this bag in particular. I was a little confused because I thought maybe it was genuine suede because genuine suede is not technically as soft as microfiber suede. So I will have to look into that a little bit further, but for the most part, the bag was beautifully built and such soft leather. I just didn't really like the lining. $1,590 Canadian. Absolutely insane. But again, it looks really good with my outfit. Like, girl, that looks like I literally 
had my outfit picked out for this handbag today and it just looks good. I mean, if you have the money for this collection, go ahead. But like as a, like a poor simpleton like me, I definitely most, that is just three times, four times out of my price range. But the graffiti work on it is stunning. Getting a nice close look at this, it is sickening. Sickening in the best way possible. Like it just looked really good. I really enjoyed it. Which was surprising because online I was like, oh, I hate it. But looking at it in person, getting to like look at all the rich hues and colors, totally, totally beautiful. But here is the Bandit shoulder bag. The new version of the Bandit. I have a couple gripes with this bag. It is absolutely elegant and stunning. But the lock is not as sturdy as you would like it to be. It is beautiful. Oh my god. Just looking at the leather here. It was so nice and soft. It's genuine full grain. $670 though. So that is a very pricey. And on the inside, there's like a nice little flap. And on the inside of the flap that goes in is the coach badge. So it kind of gives off the vintage effect, but also looks very modern and classy. I do like the bag, just very expensive. Way too expensive for what it is. Speaking of expensive, though, next up is the Coach X Mint Surf Bandit Shoulder Bag. Now, this thing here is just disgustingly priced. <laughs> The price on this one is really, really high. Now, I don't like the uh, color combination to this one as much as I do with the black one. So, it's not necessarily up my alley, but it's still a beautiful bag. And the inside had a nice soft leather, just as the other bags. And, you know, it, again, if it's up your alley, it's probably worth the money. It's beautiful. But I did notice one issue one issue there was bubbling there was bubbling on the leather on this i was a little like oh that's kind of concerning when you think about it it, it was actually bubbling like there was like air I, I don't even know i was like i don't think i've seen that for a coach bag like if anybody's coach bags have that kind of air bubbling at the bottom let me know and how well did it hold up? Because that didn't look like... That looks like if you scratched it a little bit, it would like puncture or something. But I don't know. And then we got the Rogue Crossbody 12 in the separate color. Next up is the Coach Bandit Crossbody. Just the plain old crossbody. But this is also a whopping price of $425. I would definitely say this is way more in the line of wallet on chain. I feel like it's a little smaller than the Beat Crossbody Clutch as well. Like looking at it, like I'm pretty sure the Beat Crossbody Clutch was like a little wider. And I'm not sure though. It's definitely something I would have to compare the both to, but... It's still a really pretty bag. I'm not going to lie. And you got the coach little screw pieces in there. And it's beautifully built. There's nothing really wrong other than that little bubbling we've seen. But the bags are sickening. Absolutely sickening. And then like I said with the black uh, Coach X Bandit Mint Surf. I like this one better than the ivory or beige one. I can't even remember the, the damn color name. The color, I don't like. <laughs> again, beautiful bag. Really expensive. These ones are like $950, but again, I love the spray painting effects and everything. It's just like acid trip, like eat your heart. $950, though, that's just like extortionate money in my opinion. But if you have the money for it, I guess... It's worth the price. But it is beautiful. And it looks sick with my outfit. Damn. <laughs> Next up is the Coach X Mint Surf. 
Rogue Slim Briefcase. Comes in the black and the uh, ivory slash beige. I hope I'm saying it right. Ivory, I feel like I am, but sometimes I mess it up. I will say, I think the back of the bags on these mint surf collections actually look better in some cases. Like, it includes more of the green. It includes more of a different effect on the back. I wish that the front also reflected as much as the back did, if that makes sense. Like, on some of these bags, I'm like, I wish the front was flipped to the back and the back was flipped to the front. The briefcase, though, is $730 Canadian. Very pricey. But again, beautifully built, super soft and supple pebbled leather. Love the effect, the gloss effect that they did for the graffiti. I think it just looks like genuine graffiti. And it's a very fun bag style, just super expensive and not all of them look as nice as certain others. Here we got the Bandit Crossbody in Signature Textile Jacquard for $460. So a considerable price jump from the original Crossbody. I don't know why, but I feel like the pandemic has made textile jacquards across all brands more expensive than what they were before. Let me know your thoughts on that in the in the comments because I, that's just something I picked up on. But I don't know if I'm like seeing things. <laughs> Here we got the Bandit Shoulder Bag and In Signature Textile Jacquard. And this one is $700. These are beautiful, no doubt. But I do prefer the all leather ones. I think the all leather bandits look a lot nicer. Just take a nice quick look at the other bandit crossbodies and shoulder bags that they offer. Some come in these really beautiful color hues. Some come in really nice neutrals. So there is a lot of color options for the bandit, which is nice to see. But next up is the Coach X Mint Surf carriage backpack this backpack is absolutely massive and of course with an absolutely massive bag comes with an absolutely massive price tag now i did find it weird that the bag has like this whole opening in the back like i was just like okay like that's kind of weird like i get it for an accessibility standpoint but at the same time i'm like i don't know that feels like a liability to me And then it has the clip front. Very beautiful backpack. I do believe those go for like $1,500. So those are also really, really expensive. And then we have the Coach X Mint Surf Carriage Tote Bag. This one is also really expensive. But again, it's a really big bag. So you technically are getting what you pay for. Beautiful leather as well. Looks stunning with the outfit. I mean, like, duh. The whole collection did. Just love the color combination. I'm not too into light blues. Like, I really do like a light blue. But for me personally, with my style and stuff, it doesn't work the greatest all the time. But this is so edgy. And it includes the reds and the greens. And just enough dark enough blues that it does make it a darker bag than a lighter bag and I will say this collection has grown on me a little just a little I'm not gonna sit here and rush out and buy a bag though they are too expensive $1,340 for the carriage tote and then here we also have the rogue 25 from the mint surf collection with coach Maybe they used a, a stiffer microfiber suede or something in order to maintain the structure of the leather, but I don't know. $1,090 though, um, Canadian for the Rogue 25.
comes with the embossed tag as well. Very cute. But speaking of cute, <laughs> we got the new Rogue 12s. The Rogue 12 in color block. Genuine gloved hand leather. It is literally just like, it's, I want to say it's like a very in-between version of a bag charm and like a crossbody bag or like a mini bag. $240. Still a bit expensive, but it, it does have a lot of craftsmanship. It does look very beautiful and such. Like, it looks like a very well-built piece, even though it is tiny. Just, I just don't feel like mini bags are really in right now. Not that, not, not that that matters, but I feel like the mini bag trend was, like, really big a few years ago. It just feels a little out of place seeing them all of a sudden, but they, they're still really cute. I do really like them. I like them as bag charms, though. I think. I don't know if they would even work as a bag charm. I think they might be too big, actually. And then last up in today's Coach Retail Boutique Shopping Trip, it goes to the Studio 12. The Studio Bag 12. Just as cute and sleek as the Rogue 12s. Comes with its own little strap. Also, genuine gloved hand leather. Very pretty. I do believe these ones were also $240. Yes, $240 for the Micro Studio 12. Very cute, very expensive. But then again, if you got the money for it, I would definitely say it's worth it. I, I say it's expensive because I can't afford this. <laughs> Maybe there is right now. And 99 don't believe in you. But all you need is just for one person to believe. There can be a hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred people, a hundred, hundred, hundred people, a 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 hundred, 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 or a thousand, nine thousand, or nine, nine hundred, ninety-nine. There can be a hundred people in the room, in the room, in the room, and ninety-nine, 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 don't, don't believe in you. There can be a hundred people. Alrighty, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's Coach Retail Shop with me for the Coach x Mint Surf Collection and the new Abandoned Bags. What was your favorite? Do you think the new collection is cuter in person than it is online? Because I personally do. I really like the black, the acid green tones and such. Like, girl, acid green, eat your heart out. And that's been, like, my vibe this year. So, like, I... I like it, but I don't like it for that price point. So it's kind of just like there, you know? But anyways, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. And if you guys did enjoy today's content, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you are new. Share with your friends and family. Hit that like button. Comment to me any type of opinion you may or may not have had. As well, you can always support me and the channel directly by sending me a very generous super thanks donation. And you can always check out the description box below for the three lucky links to my Instagram, Facebook, and Discord notification squad. I love you all to the absolute moon and back. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. <laughs> Oops. Uh, I, I think it was good. I don't know. I'm done. I'm done. Oh, no. Show's <laughs> over. Show's over. <laughs>